Why and how do we suppress negative events? You can ignore most of the stuff here. We shot already some videos so to understand neuroscience and get some juicy information um, that you can use. Now, when it comes down to suppressing negative events in your life, this can be explained again with the limbic system. This rat system is our emotional system. And within this emotional system, we get this little green part here, which is responsible for storing information into your long-term memory, right? The thing is now, if something negative happens in your life, that is for a little bit longer, for a longer period of time, can be sometimes even a couple of minutes if it's very extreme, such as if you get raped, a very extreme example, those victims often can't really remember specifically what happened because they suppressed this. Why? If you um, have those negative emotions for a little, little sustained period of time, you release the hormone cortisol. Though cortisol is a hormone that is inhibiting. And if you release this here, it inhibits also the hippocampus, which is storing the information to your long-term memory, right? So if you release this cortisol, it's not working so well anymore, right? So of course, we do remember negative things in our lives, especially if they're quick and just hurtful uh, in, in the moment. But there are also some moments that we really just suppress them due to the cortisol. And this is just a mechanism for, for, from, from your body and your brain to basically tells you, okay, this is like too hard. I can't deal with that. I want to suppress this. And generally, if you look at the things that people remember, they remember more positive things and not so much negative things. There's a tendency. This is just uh, the human being. And if we would actually able, capable to remember everything, there's actually one woman in the world. She can remember everything. She can't forget anything. She's depressed because remembering so many negative things and so many positive things, but the, the, there's uh, basically they're equalized. This makes people depressed. They need to look more on the positive side. This is this just um, the human psychology. Of course, it's not an all or nothing principle. You can still argue because people do remember some ne negative things. But in those specific moments, the cort cortisol is key. Um, yeah. And that's why there's actually the theory that you should not learn like 10 minutes before the examination. Because you're high on stress, you're releasing cortisol. And by learning then there, right before the exam, you're actually... Um, suppressing this emotion, uh, th th those memories that you already learned, you already learned the information, now you rewatch it, but with cortisol in your brain, which is just inhibiting this information on the long term, it will actually not serve you to remember those things. I hope that it was clear. Leave some comments below if you have any more questions, and I will see you in the next video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Bye.